What are regular expressions or regex and why should you care? Hi, I'm Christian Jenko, and I'd love to show you using a thing I just built called the regex dictionary. Regex is a programming language that goes inside of other programming languages that helps coders match strings. What does it mean to match strings? Well, let's say that you're looking for a word for a crossword puzzle and you know it's five letters long and starts with B-E-A. It'd be kind of difficult to find that using regular tools, but with regex, it's as simple and straightforward as caret B-E-A dot dot dollar sign and here are all the words it could be. Now it can look daunting and complicated, but I'd like to walk you through it. It's actually not that bad. I'm gonna go through here on the right, the top seven things you need to know to be dangerous with regex and you'll be well on your way. Here's thing number one, you can match a string that contains another string if you just type it in. So this is like your traditional search. If I type in regular, here's all the words that contain regular. Irregular, regularies, regularize, regulars, all of these contain it. That's it, that's the first lesson. Lesson number two, let's say that I want only words that start with regular. So I don't want words like irregular, but I do want words like regularization. The caret, boop, marks the start of a word. So now I'm only matching strings that start with regular. What if I want only strings that end with regular? Well, you would think I use a caret at the end, but no, it's a dollar sign, it's a dollar sign, dollar sign means the end. And now we're getting words that end with regular, like irregular or st Stereo regular. Huh, cool. That's lesson two, done. We're gonna get through these fast. The third lesson is that you can use a period as a wild card in your match. So let's say that I want a word that has regular in it, and then it has one more letter, and then it's the end of the word, or two more letters, or three more letters, or four more letters, or five more letters. Uh, here we go, regularizing is regular, and then five more characters, and then the end of the word. What if I wanted a word that had regular in it, and then some number of characters, and then ended with an S? I wanna make sure the word is plural. Well, I could say something like S here, but that doesn't quite capture all these in the middle that I wanna get. So how do I say some number of other characters? Well, I can do that with either a plus sign, so this is saying uh, one or more of any character, or a uh, star and a star is zero or more. So the difference between a star and a plus sign is a star can be nothing there, it could be just be the word regulars like that, or if I change that to a plus, regular disappears and there has to be at least one more character. That's lesson number four, how we do it. Too fast, too slow? You can rewind if you want, I guess. Lesson number five, let's say I'm looking for a word that starts with R-E and then any number of E's and then F, and then it might be plural, but it might not be plural. So. Let's, let's type that first part in. Starts with R, E, and then some number of E's, one or more E's, F, and then S, but I don't know if the S should be there, and then a dollar sign. So I wanna be able to match that, but also these. So how do, I, how do I get all four of those words in there? Well, with a question mark. The S can be there or not, and now I get all four of these. I get reef, and I also get reefs. Lesson six, we're almost there. Character sets. Let's say instead of an E, it can be any vowel. I want it to be A, E, I, O, or U. So like, I want all of these. I guess there are none there. I want all of these. I want all of these, O, and U. The way we do that is with a set, which is marked by these square brackets. Ooh, scary, square brackets. And then I type in all the letters it could be. So A, E, I, O, O, U. And now I get all those matches. So it's the beginning of the string, and then an R, and then either A, E, I, O, or U, one or more times, and then F, and then maybe an S, if you're feeling like it. Last lesson, and then I'll turn you loose. What if you wanna say not a vowel? What if you wanna say a consonant? What if it's R, and then a vowel, one or more times, and then something that's not a vowel, and then S? Well, we could go through and just type out all the consonants, like B, A, B, C, D, F, G, all the way through, but that would be a long time. What I wanna say is not A, E, I, O, or U. You're gonna get so mad when you, when you see how to do this. So uh, you know how you would do it if it was A, E, I, O, U. Uh, so this is now R and then a vowel one or more times and then another vowel and then maybe an S. How you say it's not a vowel is with a caret. The same, the same character that marked the start, but here it means something different. Here it means not in this set. So this is matching at the beginning of the string. There has to be an R, has to start with an R. And then one or more vowels and then a character that's not a vowel, and then maybe an S if you want to, and then the end of the string. That's it, that's the end, you made it. Now you know a little bit about regex. You can use this either to cheat at Scrabble or to write some cool code. That's it, have a good day, goodbye.